detail needed when installing siding will be corner trim. In this video, we'll cover installing an inside corner and outside corner for a vertical corrugated project. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. In this video, we will cover preparing the outside and inside corner, overlapping trim, and fastening. Preparing your outside and inside corner, make sure your siding is clear of all dust and debris. Place your trim piece into its position and mark where the high seams on each side of your siding will land. When fastening your trim, you'll want the screws to penetrate the high seams of the corrugated panels. Depending on where your high seams land, your screws might not be symmetrical on the trim. Measure the distance from the edge of trim to each high seam mark. Use this measurement to place marks 12 inches on center down each side of your trim. Next, lay a strip of double-sided butyl tape along the high seams of the panel. Overlapping. Overlaps should be a minimum of two inches. Start by notching out the hems of both sides of the lower section of trim. A single bead of silicone should be placed on the lower section of trim, about a half inch from the bottom edge. The top section should slide into the lower section as shown. Fastening. Screws should be placed approximately every 12 inches. You want the screws to land on the high seam of your siding. Depending on where your high seams land, your screws might not be symmetrical on the trim. Screws should be placed starting 3 inches from the base trim Want to learn more? Check out our corrugated installation playlist found on this page. Help support our channel by hitting like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. Looking for more installation videos? Check out base trim or how to fasten corrugated panels.